We are the indoor generation. If we're lucky enough or our kids are lucky enough to live to 80 years of age, we'll spend close to 70 years of our life indoors, 55 years in our own homes. This means our buildings are fundamental in our long-term health and well-being. In fact, we'll spend close to 90% of our lives in indoor spaces. But where does this number come from? Well, there's certainly a good chance it came from the 2001 report, the Human Activity Pattern Survey. This significant piece of research from back in 2001 looked at how US citizens lived their lives, the kinds of buildings that they occupied, and they found that 87% of the time was spent in indoor spaces. So where did the 90% come from? Well, it turned out that 6% on top of that was spent in vehicles. So in total, it was just over 90%, but I, I guess for communication purposes, they settled on 90. I think the interesting thing here is that whether or not this still stands today, because certainly since the early 2000s, our behaviour in buildings has probably changed quite significantly. I don't think it has enough to mean that meaningfully we're spending any more or less time in buildings. What's certainly true is we are the indoor generation.